I believe this is it. Yep, that's it, Nordic Sawmill. This is Homerack. There's supposed to be a store right here. Alright, we're gonna stop and get us a big red here. I promise, no more pit stops. But I am thirsty. I'll be right back. Oh yeah. Got to have a big red when you're going up Palmer, right? I think. Here we go. Now we still got a little bit of ways to go to get up to where we need to be at. So y'all sit back and enjoy the ride, and, uh, and I'll find us a good song. Now, while we're driving up this road, I want to tell you all about my nephew. He's been driving these cars for this racetrack, and I guess he's making a name for himself. And uh, he's wanting me to sponsor him. And he said, oh, he said, i tell you what, if so you get the money, he said, and I'll show you how to win the race. So I've been considering it, you know. I mean, uh, I haven't seen him race yet, I'll be honest with you. But I, we are planning on going to see that pretty soon. So we'll see how that turns out. Maybe we'll do a little sponsoring for him. Looks like somebody lost some cargo back there. I don't know what that was. Might be valuable. But anyway, on up Paul Marat we go. about here we should be seeing some of his properties up through here because he said he had a big logging operation up here on the left all kinds of timber somebody been doing some cutting I seen a road there oh yeah here we go now that's him that's the sawmill he was telling me about or the furniture company. Right here is the sawmill. That's right. Yep. Alright, so we're going to keep right on going up through here. Look what some timber. My goodness. Piney Run. I don't know if the timber is as big as this or not. Look what some timber. Now that right there is some big logs. Here we are in the middle of Homer, right? Boy, every one of them is just huge. Look at that. Anyway, we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. An old Cloud Nine man is going to keep on a hammer. Up here at the top of the hill, there's supposed to be two big fields. I guess that was one of them. Oh yeah, I see it over there. Alright, so this must be the place. Now he said after we pass this field, 
Who's that? Oh, I guess they working for him. All right. Okay, that looks like it. Right there it is. That's him. I see the truck. All right, y'all. Wish me luck. I, I don't know what could happen here, but I'm going to go in and see what's going on. Well, I talked to him, and uh, I guess I'm going to have to get in the truck, and uh, I'll tell you what's going on. Alright, so we, first of all, we paid him the payment that we had for our land, but we still owe him one million dollars. For a grand total of two million. Right, we gave him one million. Now, I don't have another man. Well, he says either I come up with it or he's going to enclose on the contract and make it hard on me in Piney Run. And he gave me a couple of months and uh, he said that he would forget about all of it and let me pay the contract as is if and under only one condition and that condition is that I don't sponsor my nephew so apparently his nephew is in the racing and right alongside my nephew and they're kind of competitors he don't want my nephew to be in in the race so he's telling me either come up with the money right away or well I'll tell you when we get to Piney Run we'll be there shortly Well, here we are, back on Piney Run, back to what I call home, but we've got that problem a looming, folks. Now, my nephew has every right to get on that racetrack just like everybody else, so I've got an option, come up with the money. We've got a quarter of that money, but three quarters of it we don't have. Or, I could take my nephew out and not sponsor him. But I've made my decision, and I've, I've been making some calls, and I've found out that my nephew's pretty good. So, if my nephew wants to race that car, I'm gonna back him up. I'm gonna sponsor him, and I'm gonna pay the price. So, you know what that means. I'm sure you've heard me say it plenty times. Here on Piney Run, when you got a problem, we, we solve it. And we're gonna solve it the right way. That means my nephew has just as much right as his nephew does. And whoever wins, then that's the way it is. So I've got to come up with uh, a whole lot of money, folks. I'm going to sponsor my nephew and I'm going to make that payment. So, I guess we're going to the races in the next episode of this story. So I hope you guys are ready. We'll find out. We also got our soybeans coming up and uh, hopefully we'll have some of them before too long. 
So here we are back at home. Now it's time to figure out what we got to do. Got some big decisions to make and uh, got a lot of work to do now. So I guess the next thing to do is to start getting that work done and collecting some of that money. So we can do all of these things that we have to do. So don't forget, like and subscribe. And Cloud9Man will let you know what happens in the next episode. Until then, you all take care and I'll see you in the next one.